Sea levels are rising. Can we stop it? Why is it happening? Well, this 4,000-page report from the UN's climate change panel has some answers, and the finger points very much at us. We know fossil fuel emissions are making the world hotter, and that's melting the planet's glaciers and ice sheets. Plus, as seawater warms, it expands, increasing the volume of the oceans. This has been going on for a while. Average sea levels have risen about 24 centimeters since 1880. That doesn't sound much, does it? But at least a third of that has come in the last 25 years, and the rate of rise is speeding up. As it is, rising waters are already having a devastating impact, as surges from ever-intensifying storms wreak havoc. All coastal cities will be affected by rising sea levels. Around 10% of the world's population live near the sea. That's 600 million people at risk from being flooded out by the rising tide. And it's not just people at risk, but water supplies, food chains, communication cables, roads, railways, the impacts reach way past the coastline. Imagine subways where humans once traveled en masse, becoming the domain of sharks and fish. Some life-changing sea level rises locked in whatever we do, and that means climate refugees look set to become the norm. But we can at least stop the rot by stamping out CO2 emissions. A growing number of cities are engineering the problem, building sea walls, surge barriers, and installing giant water pumps. People are also restoring natural barriers like mangroves and wetlands. You know, it's impossible to say how much our oceans will rise. That depends on how much we cut emissions and stem future global warming. But if we don't act, the implications for hundreds of millions of people along our coastlines are dire.